Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Wishing Tales. Today I have an unboxing for you. This is a store off of AliExpress. It is called Painting Image Store. I have ordered from them before. If you recall, if you've been with me for a while, you might remember the Seven Dwarfs when they were mining with all the diamonds and everything. It was really beautiful. It had a lot of colors. I haven't done it yet, but it's the same store that I got um, this one from. So this one here I ordered on May 21st. I received it on June 19th. I have been holding on to some of these for a little bit for you guys, so I'm just now opening them up. But uh, this one is a 40 by 50. I paid $9.26 for it. So I am anxious to show you, and I'm anxious to see it. And now uh, you have to excuse the computer over here. I'm actually editing today's video for you. Um, now how am I gonna get in this without popping those? I don't wanna pop those. Um, I have, I do wipe down my packages now when I receive them, and they sit for a while anyway. Just so you guys know, I'm not just digging in here without having sanitized it first. Get down. Sorry, my little, my little bear is trying to get on my table. Okay, I did. I just didn't want to pop these bubbles, guys, because I'm a little weird right now about that. Uh, so anyway, let's get this out of here, and I'm trying to work around the camera because I am on a different table, and it is weird for me. Okay, that is empty. That can go over there. I might have to go on the other side just to open it for you. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see what I can do. We'll figure it out. Let me get this out of the way. So, obviously, this one's a little... This one is um, double-sided tape. But it is very sticky okay and I'm just going to get the stuff out of the middle here oh my goodness look at all those beautiful colors so let's take a look at the kit nothing special uh, no tweezers odd two pens one has a three placer one has what looks like a nine placer your regular white boat with the funnel, a big piece of wax, and some extra bags. Um, I've never seen them come with two. I don't recall the last one coming with two, but anyway, extra pens if you need them. So let me show you what I got. I'm gonna have to get in here so I can get the picture out. I'm glad it comes with the inventory. And I like how it's like spread out. And they did roll it around the canvas. I'm just letting the canvas chill for a second while we're doing this. Sorry for the noise. So let me show you the image. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? It is a sewing mini. Now this picture is not very clear on here. But um... Anyway, she has other crafts with her. She has the yarn down there. And I just thought it was cute because, you know, I sew. So a lot of us do sew. I crochet. We do multiple crafts. Now, it would have been cuter if she was doing a diamond painting. Wouldn't that have been awesome? But, hey, I'm not complaining too much. I think it's adorable. So I'm actually going to do the inventory on this, guys. If you want to skip through it... I will put on the screen down at the bottom to skip through so you can see the canvas. But uh, let's see how many colors we have here. Forty colors. So you have 40 colors on a 40 by 50. 
That is a lot of colors, guys, and I'm hoping it's a lot of details. I remember from the Seven Dwarfs that the Seven Dwarfs was so detailed. It was so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to do inventory. It was so beautiful, and again, I'll link that down below for you. I actually have to scoot over a little bit. And the sad thing is, as nice as this is packaged, I will never be able to put it back the way it was. Oh, got a loose one there. Okay. So I'm going to do this in a hyperlapse for you. And you guys can skip ahead if you want. And again, I'll put the number down here below for you. Okay, I'm just going to pause right here for a second. This is just downright mean. Do you see this? Let me get some colors in there. Now, one of these is 966 and one of these is 996. Isn't that just mean? I mean, I can figure out which one is which, but still, if you don't know or if you're new and you see that, Yeah, that's just downright mean. Thankfully, they both have, the, well, I mean, actually not thankfully, because if one of them had a different amount, then it would be no problem trying to figure out which one it is. But because they both have two bags, yeah, I got to go look. I'm pretty sure that the blue one is the 996, only be based on the symbol, but I'm going to have to look it up with my other ones and find out for sure. And I know the last um, diamond painting that I did had a 966, and I think that was green. So, but still, that's just downright mean, guys. All right, back to it. So I got to look back through. It looks like I'm missing a whole number and it's not just one bag. It's six bags. So let me see if I can, maybe I just threw it over there by accident. Um, it's going to be six. So I'm thinking maybe when those, yeah, there it is. So I say, I think when I found that those were loose, I just accidentally threw them over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good. Okay, I am missing one bag of these, and that, that was because the bag had a hole in it, 
and I showed you it wasn't as many as a bag. And then I'm missing a bag of these, which also had a hole in it. And I guess it must have came out in something else because, I mean, I should look in the bag over there. But I'll look at that in a minute. But anyway, so I didn't have the problem with the last batch. So I'm just guessing that's just a fluke. So I'm going to try and put this back as neatly as possible in the bag that it was in. So if you give me another minute, we're going to time lapse this too, and then uh, we'll get to the canvas. Okay, so there was nothing in the bottom of the bag, so I'm just going to have to message them and let them know what I'm missing. And hopefully, they will uh, send them to me. Lord only knows how long that's going to take to get to me, though. We'll see. Okay, let's look at this beautiful canvas. So, there is the thumbnail. I'm not quite sure why it's so dark down there. You can't even see that. But anyway. So I am going to... Look, now I'm starting to find drills everywhere. I'm going to open this up. get her flat first and then we'll look at the whole thing together you can see a little tiny river over there on the other side Been sitting super long I mean a couple weeks I've had them sit longer before I opened them and they were perfect so I believe this is just how they packaged it because they kind of folded it a little bit or it might have just got smushed in shipping so I don't want to say it was the company because it might have just got smushed in shipping so we will see Um, and I'll get down here and show you the symbols again. Let me get it flat for you. And then we'll take a look at the whole thing. Um, I do see a couple small rivers. Just a quick glance there. And this is where I saw... I'm going to pause you for a minute so I can get a better light for you. Okay, I took you down off of the stand because I wanted you to see if you can even see it. Um, see that gap right there, right here? If, you, if you've never had one before, that's what you call a river. And it's actually a big air bubble under there. So that is when they applied the glue, and you can't even see that. When they applied the, this, this is the problem with double-sided tape. When they applied the glue, the tape, it had a little wrinkle in the canvas, and that's what you get. Oh, you can see it really good there. So the only way to fix that, and I don't have it with me, but you can fix it. All you got to do is take an X-Acto knife. 
Um, for big bubbles like that, that's what I would do. I'm gonna see if I can do it with my scissors. And just basically, you're just punching a hole in the glue to get that air bubble out. Ugh, hold on a second, guys. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up a little bit so you can see the entire canvas when I open it. Uh, that bubble is just easily fixed. You just, uh, well, I guess it would help if I was doing the right knob. But uh, you just take an X-Acto knife and uh, just basically cut a little tiny hole in it so you can get that air bubble out. Most of the time that works just like that. So let me turn this around for you. Let me get this out of the way. Get my pen out of the way. And I'm going to open from the bottom first so I can show you the symbols before I open the whole thing. And I do have my glasses on today. Would you believe that? Um, they look pretty... Most of them look pretty clear. Those Z's are a little iffy. I mean, obviously I can tell they're white Z's, but... I think if I had it on my light pad, it would be great. And, um, yeah, let me check that out. Let me see. Okay, this is not a light pad by any means, but it is a light. And if I can see it on this, then on the light pad, it'll be perfect. So let's see. So it's still kind of iffy, which is weird because the other picture was just so perfect from what I remember anyway. I, I say perfect, who knows. Okay, let's open this up and see what it looks like because I am anxious to see what it looks like. Stop it there. And then turn it around for you. Um, there are slight rivers in the canvas. Um, they should be okay. I'm just worried about that one big one up here on the corner. Oh my goodness. Get you focused in. What is wrong with me today? Oh man, in the camera, that looks so good from far away. Oh my gosh, look at the detail on that. Look at the shading on the table. Oh man, that is so pretty. And then down here at the bottom is the yarns. And her little sewing machine. I'm actually looking through the camera because it looks so good. Let me see if I can, uh, that's all further out I can go. But she looks so cute. I'm only concerned about this one big bubble up here. That's my only concern. And that actually runs all the way across, well not all the way across, but like a quarter of the way across. I think the other ones should be okay. I've had worse canvases. And sticky, this is very sticky. But I don't think I had the wrinkles on the last one that I did, that I have with this one. But anyway, so there you have it. Painting Girl Store off of AliExpress, or Painting Image Store, I'm sorry, Painting Image Store. And again, I'll link the other unboxing of the Seven Dwarfs down below for you. And um, you guys, I have a bunch more coming. I have some already here for me to unbox for you. So it's just a matter of getting the ones that I've already done edited. And, um, we have been moving things around and like I said we got furniture that we didn't intend to buy but we did and um, so it's just a matter of getting reorganized and stuff like that but I'm trying and I'm getting these I wanted to get this one unboxed for you because I've had her sitting here for a couple weeks now 
and I have a couple more that's been sitting here for a couple weeks. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get that done for you and show how cute Minnie Mouse is. And hopefully I can get that damn bubble out. Oh, sorry, watch my mouth. Hopefully I can get that bubble out. And uh, I gotta message the company about those missing drills. So there you go. Remember to visit me on Instagram. You can see my finished projects over there and some miscellaneous things that I do around the house over at Wishing Tales on Instagram. Or you can visit my Facebook group at Wishing Tales Diamond Painting. So you guys stay safe. Have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye.